good morning students today we will start uh, the portion electrode potential before going to electrode potential let me refresh uh, the previous knowledge taking to electrochemical cell because it is having connection with this electrode potential as it was clearly explained to you that in electrochemical cell oxidation reaction was taking place in anode and reduction reaction was taking place in cathode electron flow was from anode to cathode and current flow was from cathode to anode now after all this i am going to the portion that is electrode potential what does it mean in galvanic cell oxidation occurs at negative electrode and reduction occurs at positive electrode means one electron have the tendency to lose electron and other is having the tendency to gain electron hence tendency of an electrode either to lose or to gain electrons is known as electrode potential again electrode potential is of two types that is oxidation potential and reduction potential the very next is what is called oxidation potential the tendency of an electrode to lose electrons or to get oxidized is called its oxidation potential that is metal solid is giving metal ionic form plus n number of electrons now n is referring here the valency factor for example zinc solid is converted to zinc aqueous form that is zn2 plus plus two electrons that means after losing two electrons zinc is converted to zinc2 plus now what is called reduction potential the tendency of an electrode to gain electrons or to get reduced is called its reduction potential that is mn plus aqueous plus n electron minus is giving ms for example copper 2 plus plus 2 electron minus is giving copper it is evident that oxidation potential is the reverse of reduction potential because the tendency is differing i am explaining it uh, clearly oxidation potential is the tendency of the electrode to get oxidized okay that is to lose electron and reduction potential is the tendency of electrode to gain electrons that is to reduce to get reduced that means both the tendencies are opposite to each other that is why it is evident that oxidation potential is the reverse of reduction potential for example if oxidation potential of zinc is minus 0.76 volt then its reduction potential must be plus 0.76 volt next what are the factors which affect magnitude of electrode potential first factor is nature of metal different we know that different metals have different tendencies to lose or gain electron and thus have different electrode potentials that means depending upon the type of metal the electrode potential differs for example sodium being extremely active has less very uh, has very strong tendency to lose electron again you can also call it in another way sodium being more electro positive has strong tendency to lose electron and have high electrode potential but copper being less active has lower tendency to lose electrons and have lower electrode potential next factor of ours is concentration of metal ions zinc or dipped in zinc sulfate solution that is zinc plus 2 ions as concentration of zinc 2 plus ions i'm just going to the page as concentration of zinc 2 plus ions increases the equilibrium will shift to the left hand side by applying leach aclair principle and hence electrode potential will decrease and vice versa third factor is temperature factor the change in temperature of the solution also increases the electrode potential in a not cell let me repeat this portion the what are the factors which affect the electrode potential first one is nature of metal second one is concentration of metal ions third one is temperature now i am going to the few important points regarding this area first one is according to iupac convention or iupac convention the half cell reactions are always written as reduction half reactions i am repeating 
as with reference to IUPAC convention, the half cell reactions are always written as reduction half reactions and their potentials are written as reduction potentials. Next, the reduction potential of electrode when the concentration of the ions in solution is 1 mole per liter that is 1 molar and temperature is 298 Kelvin then it is called standard reduction potential that is denoted as E0 reduction. This E0 reduction is called standard reduction potential. Next factor is EMF that is electromotive force or cell potential. Electrochemical cell consists of two half cells. The electrode in these two half cells have different electrode potentials. When the circuit is completed, the loss of electrons that is oxidation occurs at the electrode having low reduction potential. Whereas the gain of electrons that is called reduction occurs at the electrode with high reduction potential. I am repeating, in an electrochemical cell, oxidation occurs at the electrode having lower reduction potential and reduction occurs at the electrode having higher reduction potential. Okay. Uh, thus, the difference of the electrode potentials of the electrodes of the cell is termed as electromotive force that is EMF or E cell. I am repeating, the difference of the electrode potentials of the electrodes of the EM cell is termed as electromotive force or EMF that is denoted as E cell. In other ways, it can also be called, it is the driving force which causes the flow of electrons from one electrode to other and thus results in the passage of current. As reduction occurs at cathode and oxidation occurs at anode, so we can say EMF equals to reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode because here potential reduction potential is higher and here reduction potential is lower that means your current is or you can say electron flown from anode to cathode and current from cathode to anode that is why emf equals to reduction potential of cathode minus reduction potential of anode that is E cell equals to E cathode minus E anode. This is the standing formula. Next, E cell equals to E right minus E left because we know that cathodic reaction is in the right hand side, anodic reaction in the left hand side. Again, at standard conditions, E naught cell equals to E naught cathode minus E naught anode. So, this is what the EMF of the cell. Now, for calculating for calculating the EMF of cell, the electrode potentials are always taken as reduction potential for both the electrodes. I am repeating this is the most important thing. For calculating EMF or E cell of any electrochemical cell, the electrode potentials are always taken as reduction potentials for both the electrodes. Next, I am coming to what is called standard hydrogen electrode or normal hydrogen electrode? Actually, there is a question why it is not possible to determine the absolute electrode potential of an electrode. Now, let me be very clear what is the meaning of absolute electrode potential? Absolute electrode potential means potential of the electrode itself, for example, zinc, copper, silver, any electrode. Its electrode potential is called absolute electrode potential and it is a fact that it is not possible to find the absolute electrode potential of any electrode because a half cell in an electrochemical cell can work only in combination with other half cell and it does not work independently. As I have explained very clearly taking diagram into account also that an electrochemical cell is consisting of left half cell and right half cell. See, that is why an electrochemical cell cannot work independently with a single half cell. And this difficulty can be solved by selecting one of the electrodes as a reference electrode. And arbitrarily fixing the potential of this electrode is zero. For this purpose, 
एस एच ई और एन एच ई सिलेक्टेड हुज पोटेंशियल इज जीरो आई एम रिपीटिंग फॉर ए स्टैंडर्ड हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड ऑलवेज नॉर्मल हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड स्टैंडर्ड हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड इज सिलेक्टेड हुज पोटेंशियल इज जीरो दिस इज अ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन हियर नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू द कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट ऑफ एस एच ई इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए प्लैटिनम फॉयल और ए प्लैटिनम फॉयल व्हिच इज कोटेड विथ प्लैटिनम ब्लैक and is inserted in a solution of hcl of one molar now hydrogen gas is bubbled to the system at one atmospheric pressure and 298 kelvin that means standard conditions are applied here again the reactions occur at the surface of this platinum foil depends upon whether it act as cathode or anode when it act as anode the reaction is h2 is giving 2h plus plus 2 electron minus and when it act as cathode the reaction is 2h plus plus 2 electron minus is h2 thank you